Hey there, gorgeous. Welcome to our deep dive into a topic that affects millions of people around the world. Let's talk about something super important, ADHD burnout. But before we get into that, let's make sure we all understand what ADHD really is. ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It's a condition that affects both children and adults, and it can manifest in various ways. ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. This condition is often misunderstood and oversimplified. It's not just about being hyper or easily distracted though. It's a complex neurological condition that impacts many aspects of daily life. It's about how our brains are wired. People with ADHD have brains that function differently, which can be both a gift and a challenge. People with ADHD might have trouble focusing, staying organized, managing time, or controlling impulses. These challenges can make everyday tasks feel overwhelming. We might be bursting with energy one minute and completely drained the next. This fluctuation can be exhausting and confusing, both for the person with ADHD and those around them. It's like our brains are wired for a different operating system, and that can be both amazing and challenging. Understanding ADHD is the first step in managing it effectively and appreciating the unique strengths it can bring. Now, imagine living in a world that's not quite designed for your brain's unique wiring. That's the everyday reality for many people with ADHD. We're constantly bombarded with sensory input, struggling to filter out distractions and prioritize tasks. We're pushing ourselves to keep up, often masking our struggles to fit in. This constant effort takes a toll. It's like running a marathon every single day. Eventually, our bodies and minds hit a wall. That's burnout, baby. ADHD burnout is like a full system crash. Imagine your brain as a computer that's been running too many programs at once. Eventually, it just can't keep up and everything freezes. It's different from regular burnout because it's often amplified by the unique challenges of ADHD. The constant mental juggling, the struggle to stay organized, and the perpetual feeling of being behind can make burnout hit harder and faster. You might feel emotionally drained, physically exhausted, and mentally fried. It's like every part of you is screaming for a break, but you just can't seem to find the off switch. Tasks that used to be manageable feel impossible. Even simple things like answering an email or making a phone call can feel like climbing a mountain. You might even feel hopeless or like a total failure. It's easy to get trapped in a cycle of negative thoughts, thinking you'll never get back on track. But listen to me, you are not a failure. Burnout doesn't define you. It's just a signal that something needs to change. Burnout is a sign that you've been pushing yourself too hard for too long. It's your body's way of waving a red flag, telling you to slow down and take care of yourself. It's your body's way of saying, hey gorgeous, we need a time out. So take a deep breath, give yourself permission to rest, and remember that it's okay to take things one step at a time. One of the hallmarks of ADHD is executive dysfunction. It's like having a bunch of apps open in your brain but none of them are responding. You know what you be doing, but you can't seem to make yourself do it. This can show up as procrastination, disorganization, forgetfulness, and difficulty regulating emotions. When you're burnt out, executive dysfunction goes into overdrive. It's like your brain's control panel has completely shut down. It's like my brain is on fire sensory overload and burnout. Remember how we talked about the ADHD brain being wired for a different operating system? Well, 
That means we experience the world in a more intense way. Lights might seem brighter, sounds louder, and textures more pronounced. This is called sensory overload, and it can be utterly exhausting. When you're burnt out, your sensory system is on high alert. Even small things can feel overwhelming. It's like your brain is on fire. Time blindness and burnout. Ever feel like time slips away from you? Like you sit down to do one thing and suddenly hours have passed? That's time blindness, another common ADHD trait. It can make it hard to plan, meet deadlines, and manage everyday tasks. This can lead to a constant feeling of being behind, which contributes to burnout. Many people with ADHD also experience rejection sensitive dysphoria, or RSD. This means we're super sensitive to criticism, rejection, or even perceived slights. It's like our emotions are turned up to 11, and even small setbacks can feel devastating. When we're burnt out, RSD can make us feel even more vulnerable and emotionally raw. To navigate a world that's not designed for our brains, many of us with ADHD develop coping mechanisms. One common strategy is masking. Masking is like putting on a performance to hide our ADHD symptoms. We might overcompensate, people please, or try to appear normal. While masking can be helpful in certain situations, it's exhausting. It's like wearing a mask all day, every day. Eventually, the mask starts to slip and we're left feeling exposed and drained. So, how do we deal with this burnout beast? ADHD burnout can be particularly challenging because it often feels like an endless cycle of exhaustion and frustration. But don't worry, there are ways to manage and even prevent it. Here are a few tips. Prioritize self-care. This is crucial for everyone, but especially for those with ADHD. Self-care means different things to different people, and it's important to find what works best for you. It might include things like getting enough sleep, eating nourishing foods, moving your body regularly, and spending time in nature. These activities can help recharge your energy and improve your overall well-being. Nature, in particular, has a calming effect and can help reduce stress levels significantly. Set boundaries. Learn to say no to protect your energy. This can be difficult, especially if you're used to saying yes to everything. It's okay to turn down invitations, delegate tasks, or ask for help when you need it. Remember, your well-being comes first. Create structure and routine. Having a consistent routine can be incredibly beneficial for managing ADHD symptoms. This can help you manage your time more effectively, reduce feelings of overwhelm, and create a sense of control over your day-to-day -day life. Completing tasks and checking them off your list can also provide a sense of accomplishment and boost your motivation. Break down tasks. Large projects can feel overwhelming and lead to procrastination. Break them down into smaller, more manageable chunks. This makes it easier to start and complete each part, reducing stress and increasing productivity. Seek professional support. A therapist who specializes in ADHD can help you develop coping mechanisms manage your symptoms more effectively and create a personalized plan for preventing burnout. They can provide valuable insights and strategies tailored to your unique needs, helping you navigate the challenges of ADHD with greater ease and confidence. Listen up, gorgeous. You are not alone in this. 
ADHD burnout is real, but it doesn't have to control your life. By understanding your unique needs, practicing self-compassion and seeking support, you can navigate the challenges of ADHD and live a full, vibrant life. Remember, you are capable, worthy and deserving of love and happiness. Now go out there and shine.